What the fuck is going on, guys? Welcome back to another fire fucking story time. Sorry if I scared you. If I did, leave a like. Even if I didn't, leave a like. And maybe subscribe while you're at it. You may as well. Helps me out a lot. Anyways, let's get the fuck right into this, man. No more chit chat, with Gavin. This story takes place uh, a few months ago. I've been, you know, reeling it back and back and back, back in time, you know, a few years ago. So let's do something a little more recent. Not that it matters, but like I said, it was a few months ago. Four months ago. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Now, this story involves my dearest girlfriend, Stacy. I say that as if I have multiple girlfriends. I don't know why it came out like that, but no, I do not have multiple girlfriends. Stacy is my one and only. She's got my soul, guys. Um, she's got that shit on fucking Lockdown Defender um, Hall of Fame. So, listen. Me and Stacy like doing drugs together. I'm sorry. It's not a good combination. We have very, very much settled down from all of that. Throughout these past couple months. Um, last month, I mean, we did smoke a little bit of weed and stuff. But, you know, we broke out of that as well. Uh, we like being sober more often than not. However, during this time, we were very, very into acid and molly. But those are for other stories. This time, we wanted acid. We've done acid in public places. We've taken acid in different spots, which I will tell stories about. But this story, we were kind of like... Dude, let's let's do acid tonight. Except, okay, let me let me let me rewind. To get the acid, I had to hit up my plug. Let's go ahead and call him Colton. I call him my plug, but the first time he came over, I believe he was delivering Molly, and you know he was really fucking cool. We started. I hopped in his truck. You know how plugs like to do. I hopped in his truck, and we started talking about like DXM and shit like that, like um, DMT as well. He had a DMT pen. He just gave it to me. It was pretty much empty because i didn't break through but i did hit it i did hit a dmt pen i don't know if i'll tell a story about it maybe a short or something i don't know because it's not worth the whole story <clears throat> but i did do that i didn't break through so nothing crazy happened i just got like this fucking nicotine headbrush times a thousand type shit but like i said another story me and him are getting along really well i'm like oh this dude's actually really cool he's a year or two younger than me and i'm like dude this dude's actually really fucking cool so we add each other on snap and he's not really like a plug. I use that term loosely. He's more of like a word of mouth plug. And if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. And if you don't, then keep it up. You're not doing drugs. Good shit. He's more of a word of mouth plug, more of a, oh, my friend knows a guy who can get you that drug. And that was him. He's a very cool guy. Very nice guy. Uh, very funny. We've actually hung out plenty of times after this. Like I said, we've done drugs together. We've done things which I will tell stories about. He's a cool guy. But today he just gives me my molly and shit. And a few weeks later, I'm like, yo, bro, do you got some acid that I could buy for me and my girl? We want to do some acid. And he does. He buys, I mean, I buy some acid off him. I don't know how it led down to this, but we decide let's take half a tab. Now we're at my house. And before we even take the acid, it's like, we're like trying to decide if we want to do it or not. It's like 5 p.m. And I remember I'm sitting on my stairs and I'm talking to her. And we're like, dude, do you want to do it? We're weighing out our options. I'm like, we could go to the gym. We could go out to eat. Because if I, excuse me, if I take this acid, I won't be able to eat. Personally, I can't eat shit off acid or shrooms especially. I get that little wheezy stomach feeling for most of the trip. Um, And I'm definitely not hitting the gym. Been there, done that. Not very fun. But look. Obviously, we decided let's do these fucking drugs. Fuck it. My mother is not coming home till late. My brothers aren't coming home till late. Let's fucking do it, man. So we start. It's like these hard gel tabs. Like they're hard as fuck. And we start cutting them up. We're like, let's start with half a tab. Because Colton has informed us. Oh, these tabs are super strong. Like double dose. Like, which I don't really believe. I'm like, dude, everybody says that. But you know what? I'm gonna believe you, bro. Because you've been real honest, real humble with me. And he's like, these aren't my usual tabs. I got them from someone else, but I trust the guy. He sells them a lot. Um, I wouldn't be selling to you if I didn't trust it myself. He's like, I will also do them and I will let you know type shit. So we start cutting them up on a plate, which is holy fuck a fucking asshole, bro. Like we're, we got like this giant ass kitchen knife when we're trying to cut it and shit. But we eventually get it down to half a tab each. I think we had like a few tabs, four tabs maybe, but we wanted to just start with a half. So we take the half. Two tabs for me, two tabs for her, but we each take our own half. We didn't want to go crazy because we want to see what we're getting into first. You know, I'm like, all right, well, let's take a half, see how we feel. And then we could re-up, you know, we could 
redose, whatever you want to call it. And so we take the half and we go upstairs, we go to my bathroom and I start taking a shit. Stacy likes to come in there while I take a shit. Hey, don't be a fucking guy to judge. We do what we do. All right, bitch. So we like being together. All right. I'm taking a shit and she's in there. Also, she's not supposed to be there. I snuck her in. Parents aren't coming home though. So we're good. We're in there just talking and talking and you know, I take long shits. I'm not gonna lie. I have IBS and I take very long shits. 20 minutes at least. That's being nice and generous to y'all. Not giving you the full details, but we're in there for a while and I'm talking and we're I'm shitting and we're talking, just chatting it up. And bro, we're like wondering, we're like, dude, maybe these like aren't shit. But I remember when we took them, there was a taste. It was like almost like a chemical. And I always tell Stacy, if there's a taste, you spit. If there's taste, you spit it out. Like just spit it out. We did not do that. Alright? We're dumb, but I'm glad we didn't, but we kept it in our mouth and we're like, right, pause. You know what? Not pause. Y'all have dirty minds. Fuck you. I have a dirty mind for even saying that. Fuck you. Kept it in our mouth and we're like, dude, fuck it. Let's just roll with it. And I hit up Colton. I'm like, hey, bro, there's like a taste to it, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. And he's like, bro, really? He's like, there shouldn't be a taste at all. He's like, does it taste more like metal? And he's like, he actually is caring about it. He's like, all right, well, look, he's like, I would spit it out. But if you guys already did it, he's like, just. Leave it and let me know how you guys feel. He's like, keep keep updating me. You know, he, he's very caring. Very cool guy. I'm telling y'all. And so that's what we do. We keep it in and we're talking. And before we know it, <laughs> I start feeling a little tingly, man. You know that, uh-oh, like the tingle is just like, almost like I used to run track. And every race, I would get the biggest rush of nerves just all throughout my body. And this is like that. Like genuinely, like bro, the fucking most nervous oh fuck what am i about to do type shit like oh my fucking god i'm nervous bro and that's what we're feeling and i tell stacy hey look at your hands because i'm over here taking a shit but i'm not even wiping my ass no more i'm just staring at my hands like a fucking freak bro she's like what the fuck are you doing i'm like bro look at your hands she's like oh shit and then like she starts saying things like, i feel like the walls are starting to like shift a little bit like things are moving and like we're just weak as fuck just laughing I take my phone out, my head, take a picture of me. And so we're taking pictures of each other, eyes just bulging. And I said, went to Colton, he's like, yeah, bro, y'all tripping for sure. And like, my eyes are just bulging, pupils bulging. And we're just laughing, bro. We're having a good time already. Then we go to my room and, you know, it's just coming, coming, coming. Trip is just coming up and up and up, bro. And like, it's just going up. It's just going up and up and up, bro. Like, this is just like, Every five minutes, I'm feeling more tripped out than I did the last five minutes. And then that trips me out because I feel more tripped out. Yeah, we were tripping, bro. And so before you know it, we're laying in my bed, kind of just waiting for the trip to come on more, settle on more. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I'm laying down. She's laying with me and we're just talking, talking. Now, before we know it, it's been hours. It gets a little personal because during these hours... Maybe some tears were shed. Maybe some very heartfelt emotions were shed. Of course, towards another. Of course, towards things that we don't like. Towards things that are bothering us. At this point, I'm very happy in my life. Still, I'm very happy in my life. I've been very happy this last year. I will confidently say that. Um, which I was not confidently able to say for these past four years. So, it all gets better. Life gets better. Life is way worth living. And we're talking about life and, you know, we're talking about people and, you know, friends. What should you have around you? Friends that you should have around you and influences and what's good for you? What's not? I start telling her things like, look, I really think you should stop smoking weed like I did. I think it'll be really good for you. And she has, you know, she still smokes every here and there with her friends, but it's not like it was before. Um, You can tell this conversation really did mean something and not just because she stopped smoking weed. That's her decision. but. About everything. We talked a lot. And like I said, some tears were shed. But it was good. It felt really fucking good. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. When you get those feelings out on acid, it brings them out, bro. It brings them out. Whether you want it or not. And so, we got it. We're sitting there just pouring feelings for hours. Mostly her and I'm there to comfort her and talk to her and give her insight. Because I've been through this a million times. 
Uh, this is a fucking walk in the park for me, bro. I've been through this. And like I said, I'm very happy in my life. So I don't have much to cry about. And so we're talking and just giving love to each other, you know? Um, eventually, we finally break out of that. And then we turn, so <clears throat> we turn on some music. And as we're just chatting, dude, the same song played like four times in a row. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Like five times, bro. And on the fifth play, I'm like... Yo, Stacy, am I tripping or has this been playing? And she just starts dying, bro. She's like, yo, this has been playing. And I'm like, bro, turn this shit off. Like, bro, next fucking song, bro. Yo, the DJ blows in this bitch. I'm the DJ, but the DJ fucking blows dick in this bitch, bro. Holy shit. Bro, play a new song. I don't know why he kept repeating, but I look at my phone. I find out why. I have the repeat on on Spotify. I'm like, bro, holy fuck. This song is... I'm going to fucking go insane if I hear Blackbird one more time. Um, Good song by the Beatles, but goddamn, if I heard it one more song one more time, I was going to jump on my fucking window. I'm on the second story head first. But well, holy fuck, dude. And so we're laughing. And then we get the fucking amazing idea. Hey, how about we Uber eat some McDonald's? You know, of course, it sounds amazing. We're tripping. I feel hungry, I guess. Like I said, I don't really feel hungry ever, but you know, it sounds good to the taste buds. I just want that fucking Big Mac sauce on my taste buds. I want an Oreo McFlurry on my taste buds. I want a sweet tea on my taste buds. I got most of that because we order it. It arrives. And as it's arriving, my mother comes home. Yay. So does my brothers. Yay. Why do you all have to come home? It's not like you fucking live here, bro. Like, come on. You have to come home to your house and live. <laughs> I know I'm such an asshole for being salty at that, but I'm not actually salty. It's like, bro, I know what to expect. And so I kind of got to bring the McDonald's up there and, you know, I kind of go out as they're coming in to grab it. It's just what the timing was. It's how the timing always is in my life. You know, it's like, it's just what it is. <laughs> um, I bring it up and I'm like, wait, where's our drinks? And we have to be quiet now, and so we put on The Walking Dead, we're in the middle of watching it, we've been in the middle of watching it, I think we're on like season 7 now, but during this time we're on like season 2, so this was a little bit ago, um, I mean we're kind of grinding through the show, so like I said a few months ago, um, and we got that planned, but I'm like wait, pause this shit, because I have this little desk, I have this little eating table that I have in my room next to my actual desk, like right here I'm sitting, recording the story, to my right is like this little table, like it's like a flip table you know i like eating on it i don't want to eat on my fucking desk with my ps5 my pc my mouse keyboard i don't want to get shit on my desk and so i eat on there and so i brought it towards the bed i'm just, i'm sitting in the chair she's sitting in the bed and i'm like look switch spots first of all second of all i need to go grab our drinks because i'm thinking i forgot them you know i'm being nice i'm like oh no way the uber eats person didn't forget them right <sighs> fuck uber eats fuck mcdonald's we didn't get our fucking sweet teas, bro. You know how good that bitch sounded? You know how good that bitch sounded? But, I mean, I don't blame the Uber driver because McDonald's does the thing where they do the giant-ass bag and then they put everything in it, even the drink holders inside of that bag. Because our Oreo McFlurries were in there. Our burgers, fries, everything was in there. But not our fucking drinks. So, we got to deal with it. I get us water, just a big community cup to share. We always do that. And so, we're in there kind of just whispering, talking. And my mom knocks on the door a couple times, and it's like, dude, really? She's just saying, hi, what's up? Even though I was just saying, hi, what's up to you downstairs? It's like, she's got just a sixth sense. A sixth sense. Sense. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I did drop out of school. But she has a sense for that shit, bro. And, you know, she's not catching us, because I'm just too good at what I do. I have a green screen, so Stacey just goes behind the green screen, and I turn off the lights. It's too easy for this shit. You make it too easy. Um, and you know, I'm chatting to her a little bit. She closed the door. We go back to eating sad without our sweet teas, but happy that we got McDonald's and I'm <coughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> I mean, eat McDonald's by take a couple bites because I literally took one bite of my cheeseburger, tasted a few of the fries, tasted a bite of the Oreo McFlurry. And that was all my stomach could handle. Same with Stacy. We did not eat much. Bro, I don't know about y'all, but we cannot eat off acid. It does not feel good. It does not feel satiating. It makes you feel queasy, full, bloated. It doesn't feel good. But goddamn, did it taste good, bro? Especially off the acid, bro. Everything mm, tasted so good, bro. I'm glad I got to taste it. Worth the $35, worth the 40 bucks after tip. Like, bro, worth it, bro. 
hella worth it. And so we eat what we can, and then we lay down and we just watch Walking Dead, and god damn it's soothing, because like I said, we got all those emotions out, we did all that stuff, and it's just nice to get out, and I'm, you know, talking to Colton throughout all of it, I'm letting him know how we're doing, and I'm like, bro, I really appreciate you, and I tell him, like, bro, I really appreciate you looking out, I'm like, it really is showing how much of a friend you are, rather than just a plug, I was like, I hope you know I see you as a friend, I was like, I hope I've shown that too, I was like, I like hanging out with you, bro, you cool as hell, I was like, we need to hang out more. Like, really cool of you to look out for us, bro. Not a lot of people would do that. Just sell us a drug and run away. It's what most people would do. So, very cool guy for that. Props to him, bro. Um, really good friend. We still stay in touch, and we still hang out. So, really cool guy. But like I said, we just watch Walking Dead. Enjoy our time, and we're on our come down for the next few hours. She stays till 1, as late as she can. That's her curfew. Um, we stay as late as we can. And I sneak her out. I make sure she's good to drive because it's been hours and hours since we've taken it. I mean, we popped it at 5. It's 1.30 now. And so what is that? Eight hours, nine hours. So, I mean, I'm like, are you sure you're good to drive? I can Uber you. I can drive you. But she's like, no, I'm sure. I offer to hop in the passenger and she takes me. Then I just Uber back. We do that often when we do drugs or when we drink or anything. So we can just be safe about it. I want to be with her. I want to, you know. Make her feel comforted. But she's like, no, literally, I am actually so good. She's like, I feel really good. Which I believe because I felt really good too. And I felt very clear headed. You know, we're on our end of the come down almost. So we're good. It was very enjoyable. Laying with someone on acid is very nice if you haven't tried it. Being with someone while acid is very nice if you haven't tried it. Girlfriend or not, being with somebody in general, having someone to talk to is very, very nice. Being alone on acid is very, very nice too. I love the drug. It's my drug of choice. I don't do it often anymore. I used to do it all the fucking time, but I've just slowed down in drugs in general. Thank fuck. My brain needed it and my life needed it. I'm doing things in life that I want. Hopefully you are too. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. We did it. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment. It just takes you a few minutes, less time than the time it took you to watch this video. It means you really enjoyed it and you'll get to see more videos like this. Hopefully you learned something. Don't do drugs. Most of all, um, just live life, man. Life is better than any drug. I promise. I've done them all. And I promise life is better than any drug. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. And that's it. Love you. Bye. If you like this video, bitch!